Okay, so someone made a comment in the video I prepared a long time ago and that video is on um, my latest Queen Line Fascinator designs had been I think some years ago and um, the person asked me to please do an illustration on how I designed that I didn't get to see it till just I think yesterday so I'm doing a quick one now here are the things we'll be needing your scissors your half pearls then you'll be needing B6000 and also Uhu gum because of the things we're going to be sticking. Then we're going to be needing our crinoline 6 inches width and um, 1.5 and yards and feathers. And then this flower piece. Then of course you would need your needle and then you would need your matching thread. Now also you'll be needing your elastic band, 13 inches will do this thin one that you can see there. and. A little piece of material that you can use to cover the base now I would like to say that this is actually what you need the 3 inch width crinoline but I didn't have that available and so I have to make use of the 6 inch width and I'm going to be cutting it into 3 inch width so I'm just checking it if I fold it whether it will give me 3 inch so if you can get the 3 inch width please use the 3 inch direct so that you will get it exact and looking fine but if you can't now you have the trick on how to make use of the 6 inch width crinoline now this is one and a half yards that i have and i'm going to be cutting it all the way through now you need to stay tuned to the end why because the first one i think get the design perfectly but it gave a design that you may want to use and the last one i would show you how exactly to get the exact design you saw in the thumbnail so what i did first of all was i knotted the two edges like so after i did i used uhu gum that's what i showed you initially while i was talking to glue every part those parts that you cut if not it will start fraying you have to glue it then you take your needle and thread and you start doing running stitches keep watching and learning okay so as i said remember perfect one is to use three inches if you can't find that you make use of six inches and cut it into two which will give you three inches so now the next thing you squeeze your crinoline like so yeah 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 so that's what i'm doing now if you haven't joined crinoline masters class i would advise you you join T trust me you'll be a pro okay let's get back so now you're going to twist just the front side to form a rose the first side you're going to make sure it's squeezed perfectly well and roll it like you can see me doing i'm still trying to get it exact okay i've gotten it exact the next thing you need to do is sew that part you're going to sew it straight as in uh, what do you call it folded so that it's glued and when you turn you cannot see the, uh, any hole can you see so perfect all right so the next thing you're going to do is to adjust the back and as you're adjusting it you need to check to see whether it's forming a rose like you want so you can see i left up a thread on the other side now that's so that it will allow me to adjust the thread either squeeze it more or release it more so that i'll be able to have a perfect rose going all the way around and that's why i'm checking like this so you need to do that ensure you leave the thread that you use to sew the running stitches at the end and take another needle and start sewing so now what i'm doing is i'm joining that other layer to the small rose parts that I have made. Why are you doing that? You're not joining it close to where you joined the other one. You're taking it afar off so that your rose would open up wide. It's like the rose is budding. I think that's the right word. So keep watching and learning. Remember as I said, you would want to stay till the very end so you see how to do it exactly as the picture because this one was the first but i had to put this because i'd already designed it the way it ought to be in the thumbnail but this design also will give you a new design you can make especially during this season as you can see i'm relaxing the um i'm squeezing the um, crinoline a bit so that i would actually get it to form properly that is why you need to leave the thread you used to sew the rolling stitches so that you can adjust when needed so i'm going to be sewing it all the way around like so can you see that i took it far off from the main board it's widening so that my rows will board now if you haven't attended crinoline masters class i invite you again to attend crinoline masters class just click the vent craft 
academic reception link in the description below and make a request for that you become a pro like i am all right so i'm knotting up all the thread like so as i've completed it all the way to the end okay so now what i want to do is sew my elastic band now what you need is 13 inches of elastic band if it's turgid enough if it's too elastic you may need to reduce that 13 inches is perfect for both adults and kids so i'm sewing it make sure the first time you sew it you sew through the elastic band then you can now start sewing across it to hold it firmly so i'm going to be doing the same thing to the other end as well so that you would have it perfectly um, fitted to be able to attach to the head. Also, in case you cannot find any of the materials used in your local store, please do check the description of this video. You would have Amazon, AliExpress links and also a Telegram link where you can order for these items. Okay, once that's done, you want to take your piece. Now, this was bridal satin that cut in a circular form and I burned the edges. After you cut it into two like this so that it will enter through the elastic band, also ensure you burn that part so that it will not fray. So now I'm going to use my Uhu gum and I'm going to stick it all the way around. Now, I'm sure you remember you saw me use them saying that I will use both B6000 and Ugo gum. Now if you want to know the best glues to use for various things when making your fascinator, please do check the description of this video. You will see best glue for fascinators and you go through and it will help you know which glue to use for which particular situation. Alright, so I'm doing that all the way to ensure that I've covered the edges. Now, if you see, you can see that the threads are showing inside. That's what got the design of putting feathers. You know, sometimes mistakes is what brings about a lovely design. So I've put my Uru gum inside and I'm gonna take my feathers as the strip like this and just roll it all the way around. Can you see? And it forms really a pretty design. So I'm gonna be covering every part that has the thread like so i've put uhu gum already so as i put it it just sticks to it hmm? doesn't it look gorgeous i think it does if it does already please do give me a thumbs up okay so the next thing you want to do is you're going to take your flower remember the flower that has um um, leaves on it so I'm going to be removing the leaves from the rod it has like an eye on there I take it off like so and I'm going to be putting my Uhu gum on it and also sticking it on the crinoline the flat the outer layer of the rose that was firmed so keep watching and then in The next thing you want to do is take your half pearls. Now, this is where you use your B6000. If you use Uru gum, it will come off. You use your B6000 and you're going to place it like so. So, what do you think? How does this design look? Now I'm going to get back to look at this design. Can you see that it has the first one has a curve and there's another curve underneath and it is curving towards the face, not facing up. Did you notice that? So that's what I noticed when I look at my design. You know, it's a long time I made this and I was like, nah, this is not the right thing. So, so I actually used the other part of the one and a half yards that um, we cut out and I cut it into two. So if you cut that into two, that gives you seven inches in the two parts. So I've used my glue and um, glued the edges. And the next thing I'm doing now, I've um, done my running stitches also. Now I take one part and I'm making the rose part, just like how you did in the beginning. So you're going to do it like so. I'll just allow you to watch it so you understand how that is done. Ensure, remember, as you're turning, you need to ensure that you're getting it to form the rows. Remember the other thread that you leave so that you can use it to adjust, either squeeze more or release the pleats. So this is what I do. Keep watching and learning.
and now it has formed this lovely rose you can see that that's exactly what you have at the top one there so can you see it okay so now i'm going to take the other part which is 27 inches now if you notice when i finish you would see it didn't go all the way around so you need to use like about 45 inches there about to get it to close up but just watch so that you would see how to do it okay now can you see how it curves it curves facing the face now that's what we didn't get with the other one where we used the whole one and a half inch all the way around so this is why you have to cut it into two pieces then just watch and see how i sew it all the way around Now, as I said, you would need like 18 inches or you can use another 27 inches actually to do the other part. So you need a total of um, maybe two yards and um, nine inches will do for this design. So now I'm going to sew it all the way around. Keep watching and learning. can you see it has taken shape just the way it looks in the thumbnail but it didn't go all the way around that's why i said you need more than what i have to use to go all the way around but it actually even formed the lovely unique design what do you think this design alone is fantastic so there i hope this would help you out to do the design that you have please i would like to see it do join us in the vent crafts academy to send your design once you're done and if you gain value from this video please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and also check out this other video that was made with another three inch width crinoline